Well, it was quite a day. Uh, so EIA news, uh, inventory news for crude oil was uh, out today and uh, it was marginally positive actually. And as you can see here, um, right at uh, the announcement time, uh, we did spike uh, to you know quite a bit over 44. I think it was 44.16 was the high. Uh, yeah, 44.16. Um, and uh, it really did look like it was just responding as per you know what you would expect uh, positive news bullish re reaction um, but it didn't last and uh, we we uh, retreated back to kind of where we were prior to the news almost immediately and then started to drift down we held for about an hour above 43 and then ultimately just tanked at about one o'clock um, we uh, almost tested 42 we went to a low of 42.08 uh, and uh, well let me tell you what I did so um, leading up into the news um, I got out of my long position from yesterday with a small profit 1.5 percent um, nothing to sneeze at of course I'm perfectly happy with that but it wasn't really about the profit um, today it was more about reducing my exposure in the long position uh, because you know just based on what I was seeing there's still a lot of resistance and still a lot of speculation about testing um, at least 42 if not lower so I just didn't want to you know I, I was in a profit position I was in the uh, in the black or in the green uh, on that position so it was a no-brainer just to take the profit off the table and reduce that exposure and fortunately that worked out to my advantage um, where I not only took that small profit, but I didn't suffer that loss on that on that particular holding um, when we uh, dropped down. Now I did get back in. Uh, I didn't quite get the bottom of 42.08. Um, I took a ungreedy 42.20, um, and as you can see right now, it's doing pretty well. We're up uh, almost a percent on oil, so my ETF is up um, over two percent. Um, so that's, you know, on a $26,000 position, uh, that's roughly uh, five or $600, uh, but I'm not eager to sell that quite yet. Um, I think there's a good chance that we'll test 43. Um, we'll see how the day ends. Uh, right now it's seven minutes after three Eastern, uh, so there's still a little bit of time left. Uh, typically we don't see too much action at this point, but uh, you never know. And it's been a, it's been a crazy day. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of my expectation. I think that we might pull back to 43 um, before we make another attempt at 42. Uh, we may not even make another attempt at 42, um, but I think it is within the realm of possibility. You know, considering that we init our initial reaction to the news was positive and the news was positive, um, I, I think that you know what we're seeing right now is just an oversold, generally oversold. Um, situation in crude. Uh, you know, there's already chatter about OPEC um, extending their cuts. That, you know, if it materializes or if more people start talking about it, um, we could see quite a rally. Um, and, you know, considering how low we are right now historically, um, quite a rally can, you know, represent quite a substantial um, gain if you're long. So that's, that's kind of what I did. Uh, those of you who called this right, um, as a you know short opportunity, congratulations! I hope you managed to not only get into your shorts, um, but also get out of them um, at the uh, best time there near near the 42s, uh, bottom of the 42s, I should say. Um, but if you're not in yet, um, you know where we are right now, kind of in the mid 42s. I would probably hold off and wait. Um, you know. I obviously, you guys know, I'm bullish, and I do see a lot of upward potential here over the you know, next couple of months. So it would be uh, the summer, of course, driving season, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's not to say that we're not going to be testing 42 again, maybe even 41, maybe even 40. Okay? Um, you know, anything's possible, 50-50. I'm bullish overall, but if you're if you're trying to get a swing trade for you know a one day hold or a couple day hold, uh, it's a tough call. Um, it usually is, but I think right now it's really a tough call. Uh, the the bulls don't seem yet convinced, but they're definitely hurting. So I would expect some upward action coming around um, soon. Uh, whether that's you know in the latter part of this week or next week, who knows? 
Um, there's the news update. We're down more than 2%. Um, and some, some people have commented, uh, Bloomberg is saying that you know, oil has finally entered a bearish market, so it's time to go long. When, when everybody's saying one thing, do the opposite. And that's definitely been my, uh, my approach and it's worked out well for me over the past, uh, well, this year especially. So that's where we stand, that's what I did. Um, I hope others did better than me. And we'll see what happens with the balance of the trading day. And I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow before the open with kind of what, where we go next. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. Uh, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca if you're interested in uh, my portfolio holdings and uh, specific trade analyses. And otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.